Hey there, it's Miley from CloudUp. Now that I've shown you how to create a Gmail account, we're going to go in and customize it now. Um, Google has a great feature in Gmail um, for this uh, purpose um, to help you easily set up your account. Right now, um, after you first create the account, the setup will be at 10%. So the account has been created. Now we can go in and choose a theme from here. Um, and I'll also show you, so you can either click this button or you can go to settings, themes, and then you can choose a theme from here as well. Um, so click on choose a theme. I'm going to choose this. So that will basically show, um, before you click out, you can actually kind of see a preview. So um, and move that around if you want. Um, if I don't like that one as much, maybe I'll choose a San Francisco Bay uh, picture. So we're going to click on that, click Save. Um, now you can learn how to use Gmail if you want. Um, mm -hmm. It'll help give you some tips and tricks here. Um, I'm going to exit out of that, but that is a, a great feature if you want to go more in depth. Um, you can import contacts and mail from an old Gmail, or sorry, an old email account if you have one that you want to transfer over. Um, I'm going to skip that step, but you can do that. Um, you can also get Gmail for mobile, and this will help you download an app onto your phone. Um, and then you can change your profile image. So I'm going to go in here. Um, you can either drag a profile photo from off screen, or you can select a photo from your computer. I'm just going to drag it over. And I'm just going to use this picture of my cat. So go in here, set as profile photo. Perfect. So now we're basically all done, uh, but I will show you a few other features if you want to get more in depth and customize more. Um, so you can go click on display density. Again, that will pop up with that view that we first customized. Um, you can configure your inbox. Uh, so basically, if you don't want to have promotions or social sharing as tabs, um, you can uncheck those and save that. So as you can see, that went away at the top. Um, then you can click on settings as well. Um, and here is where you can do a ton of things like setting um, if it automatically sets to reply all or just reply, how many conversations per page, um, language. Um, you can add a signature down here. Um, if you click on that, then you can just type in something here. You can also insert an image um, if you want. Whoops. Go over here. Um, let's see. So you go over here, my bad. So you'll click on the image. Um, and then you can put it there and then with an image URL. Or you can also have a link if you want. Um, and then you can put on a vacation responder. Um, you can also show which labels over here that you want to show or hide. Um, in another tutorial, I actually showed how to have your spam folder show up if mail is in it. So we're going to click on show if unread instead of hide. Um, and that's a good one because it won't show up unless there's something in there. So you won't ever miss emails that may have not been intended for the spam inbox that you want to see. Anyway, so you can go through here and customize, but um, for the most part, just going to click Save Changes there. For the most part, uh, you'll have everything you need from the beginning. Um, it's just mostly that theme um, and a few other settings over here. Um, you can always change the theme and also get add-ons. Um, so go and explore those. Um, well, I'll also show you coming up how to um, use these apps on the side. Um, so there's the add-ons feature. Um, but you can also access your calendar directly from here. Um, so I will show you the other Google suite of apps after this.